Hi, I'm David Exwood and welcome to Westerners Farm. We farm here in the heart of the Sussex Weald. I've been here for 30 years and we farm two and a half thousand acres and we are a really traditional mixed farm of beef and arable. And at the heart of our farming system is the soil. It's all about the soil and everything we can do for it. We know that if we look after our soil, we'll be good, profitable farmers and it will look after us. This is a crop of spring beans that were drilled in late March. And this is pretty typical for our farm. It's, about, it's a soil that's about 50% silt, 30% clay, 20% sand. It's heavy, it's tricky and difficult. It'll slump in the winter. For us, this soil is all about being careful with it, treating it carefully, keeping off it when it's wet, when we work it, work it as little as possible, let the soil naturally crack, uh, and we really work on the organic matter. So this field uh, is a field of uh, winter wheat that was planted last September, even though it's incredibly dry at the moment. Because this is a much better soil, there's hardly any cracking out there. And even though that you can see there's very little moisture in the soil, it's crumbling and it's dry and it's easy. And I know when we work this, it's always really straightforward. So we use much less cultivation out here. We need to do much less to get a seedbed. But there's some of the gravel that you see in the soil. That's a good sign for us. Wherever we've got that gravel, we know it's really easy working soil. So just to give you an idea about what we do for our soils and what I consider the most important things for soil management here at Westerns. So the first thing really is we're doing everything we can to increase the organic matter. So we chop straw where we can, unless we value it for ourselves. We apply lots of organic manures, sewage sludge, chicken manure, a little farmyard manure out of the cattle. Then it's trying to get the indices up to get it as fertile as possible because we found the more fertile it is, the easier it works. Then it's concentrating on the structure. So it's drainage, making sure the land drains work and we mould drain it. But then it's just keeping off it when it's wet as well. So we really concentrate on getting that first cultivation done in the dry. And what we found is the combination of all that is that our crops are more resilient. They cope with the extreme wet and extreme dry better and they're easier to work. It takes less energy, less fuel, whether we cultivate them, whether we plough them, or whether we just go through with a, uh, a sort of min-till approach. Every time it's easier to get a good seabed, the plants the, and the crops establish better and they produce better, more consistent yields. So one of the things we're really looking for our soil is that living soil. It's all the things going in. So the reason we apply all the organic manures, chop all the straw, put everything back into it, is so that it's a living, growing, moving thing. So even in this bit of soil here, you can see dry as it is, as hard as it is. There's wormholes in here. There's lots of bacterial activity. There's lots of things going on. And that living soil is what makes it so vital and so resilient. I'm really clear that soil is our greatest asset and it's what we all need to look after and concentrate on as much as we can to have a profitable and resilient future.